Hi, I'm Tamara, and this is my friend Kathy. We just finished creating this beautiful nighttime look using the full line of Jerome Alexander Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create this look at home. Let's get started. To start off Kathy's evening look, I am going to prime and perfect her skin using Jerome Alexander Liquid Silk Under Makeup Primer. This is going to assist in Kathy's makeup staying on all night, no matter how much fun she's having. The primer is going to help to fill in any textural issues that skin might have, whether that be open pores, fine lines. It's also going to keep the makeup more true to color throughout the day and prevent any liquids or powders from oxidizing due to the sun. I'm using my fingers, and even Jerome likes to use his fingers when using the primer. It just really helps to work the primer into any of those little nooks and crannies on the skin and apply a nice, even distribution. I think sometimes our fingers are our best tools. So now that Kathy's skin is beautifully primed and her texture is even ready to take on any color, we're gonna start by applying the coverage concealer right around the eyes. So I'm gonna start by just sweeping the coverage right underneath the root of her lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean finger and pull that little bit of concealer just to blend. Using my ring finger, I'm just gonna tap and pull the coverage to evenly blend and distribute down to the orbital bone. Also tapping any eye care will help to break up trapped fluid and reduce puffiness. I'm also going to take the coverage right across the lid of her eye to help prep the eye for any of the eyeshadows that we're about to put on, as well as conceal darkness, which would be a great option for more of a daytime look if that's what we were going for. This concealer is full of beautiful skincare ingredients. It has five clinical level skincare ingredients, as well as a shea butter core to keep the eye nice and hydrated, help to prevent puffiness and redness. So using the stick directly in a sweeping motion to apply the product, and then going back in with a clean finger, and I'm just going to tap and blend that concealer right underneath the eye. With vitamins A and C, it'll leave your eye area hydrated and ready for makeup. This works on many skin tones. It really helps to brighten and conceal any darkness. And even women that have beautiful complexions still need a little bit of help in covering up any darkness on the skin, especially around the eye area. You can even use this coverage to spot treat around the face or just use it solely around the eye. I am going to start evening out her complexion using the Jerome Alexander Perfection Studio Stick. I'm gonna start by almost striping it right across the face before I go in with my fingers to start blending. This stick comes in four different shades, being light, medium, medium dark, and dark. For Kathy's complexion, I chose medium. This Studio Stick Foundation gives maximum coverage but provides a beautiful natural finish. So even on our wildest nights out, we still look flawless and natural while still getting that beautiful coverage that we're looking for. The Studio Stick, as you can see, blends very easily just with a couple of fingers for that flawless finish. I'm going to pull it towards the outskirts of the face just to blend and give that beautiful flawless finish. This foundation is perfect for Kathy's evening look. It is very long wearing. It's waterproof so you know it'll outlast any night out. And it's also really hydrating so it'll leave the skin with that hydrated finish and nice and natural so it doesn't look like you have a full coverage on. This foundation covers age spots, sunspots, any acne problems, discoloration, and even scars. Just using the side of my fingers to blend it towards the chin. A little extra around the nose and mouth area to ensure her makeup stays all night long. 
To set and finish Kathy's skin, I'm going to use my stubby brush and the Magic Minerals Powder by Jerome Alexander. I'm gonna start by loading up my brush in a circular motion and also apply the powder to the face in circular motions. This powder is really fantastic because it can be worn all on its own as a foundation. It also has four color correcting pigments in it that'll help to reverse any darkness, sallowness, or redness on the skin and provide exceptionally beautiful coverage. It'll set any liquid or cream foundation like we're doing here on Kathy. This powder also has hydrating properties like vitamins C and E that'll keep the makeup on as well as hydrate the skin while providing more of a matte natural finish. This mineral based powder is worn beautifully alone on top of any creams or liquids and also great as a touch up powder throughout the night. We're gonna go in with the Jerome Alexander Magic Mineral Contour Kit. This contour kit has three shades for highlighting and three for sculpting and contouring the face. Using the angle side of my professional duo edged contour brush, I'm gonna start by enhancing Kathy's cheekbone. So really working in an upside down, almost C or half moon shape. Continuing on with the same shade inside of my brush, I'm gonna start by enhancing and shadowing Kathy's jawline. Starting in the center of the face and pulling it to the sides. When you're thinking about a contour, you just wanna think about adding shadow where natural shadow is casted. The final step of our contour for this side of the face is gonna be right in the top of the hairline where the sun would hit you if you were outdoors. It's also just gonna give an overall warmth to Kathy's face. So starting off with Kathy's cheekbone and using the angled side of my brush, Again, we're gonna go in that sweeping motion right at the base of her cheekbone or the most recessed part of her face, really wiggling that brush into the hairline so the contour is seamless and will work really beautifully underneath the blush I'm going to use. You could use these shades on Kathy's eyes or on other parts of the face to contour. You could also go in with an even deeper shade of the contour to sculpt the face more. I think for this evening look, the color that I chose is really perfect. And then also just finishing this side of the hairline, really wiggling the brush back and forth. And then just for a little extra contour, I'm gonna add just a little extra underneath Kathy's nose and lip. So now I'm gonna move on to highlighting Kathy's face. I'm gonna start in a sweeping motion right on top of her orbital bone. So since we're going for a more dramatic evening look, I chose the lightest shade to add just a little extra highlight. So the difference between contour and highlight is contour is gonna go in the recessed parts of the face while the highlight goes on the protrusions or the hard parts of the face, taking it along just the bridge of the nose a little hit of this just right on top of the cupid's bow and finishing it off right on the chin. I'm even gonna put just a little bit of this, lightly close your eyes for me, right across Kathy's eye and really being mindful to go right into the highlight of her highbrow as well as just a little bit on top of her eyebrow. We're gonna finish highlighting this side of Kathy's face using the round edge of my double-sided brush just really focusing on highlighting her orbital bone. I'm working in a perfect C, pretty much from where the iris or the color in her eye starts all the way on top of it. I'm also going to sweep the highlight shade right underneath the eyebrow on the highlight of the eye and lightly just sweep it across the lid. Just adding a little extra drama down the center of the face. So to finish contouring Kathy's face, I'm actually gonna finish by contouring her eye. Using the same two shades that I've already used, I'm going to start at the outer corner of her eye and just blend it into the crease of her eye. That way we have a great monochromatic look and a nice prime look to start her eyeshadow application on top of. Because we're going more for a dramatic look, I'm gonna add just a little more than I would for a daytime. I'm also going to just sweep in an upside down windshield wiper motion 
I'm going to sweep that contour shade right at the root of her bottom lashes. So using that same contour shade and that brush, I'm going to focus on Kathy's outer corner of her eye. Just really defining her outer corner and then blending and sweeping it more into the crease of her eye. And finishing off her contour on her eye by just sweeping that contour shade right at the root of Kathy's lash. I'm gonna go into that highlight shade and really just perfect that lid and the brightness on her inner corner. And I'm just stamping and pressing that shadow across her lid. If you wanted to add a little extra definition to Kathy's brow, going back in with that brush to add that nice sharp highlight. And just finishing off her other eye by pressing that same highlight shade we used on Kathy's face right into the inner tear duct and to add a little extra sharpness right underneath her brow. To polish off Kathy's cheeks, I'm going to go into the Jerome Alexander Split Blush and Bronzer Duo, but I'm only gonna focus on the blush half of the duo. And I'm gonna go in little circular motions right on the apples of the cheek, which are just these beautiful round little apples on Kathy's cheeks, and going in those little circular motions up along the cheekbone to really blend it into that contour we just put on really add that beautiful flushed look right onto the apples of Kathy's cheek. This blush has color correcting pigments in it which help to correct and conceal any discoloration that might happen on the cheek area. There are also some small reflective pigments in the blush that give a beautiful healthy glow to the skin. So moving on to Kathy's eyes, I'm going to use the eyeshadow quad by Jerome Alexander Cosmetics. The first shade that I'm going to use is the dusty rose color in the top of the quad. And I'm just going to add a little pop of this dusty rose color right on the outer corner of Kathy's lid. Her eyes are so green, I cannot help myself. And then I'm going to flip my brush over, and I'm going into the terracotta shade and just blending it for the rest of the way across her eyelid, working up from the crease and down to the lid. And just go right back in that backward sweeping motion to add a little bit more definition right underneath Kathy's green eyes. I'm going to add it on the outer corners of Kathy's eyes in a stippling motion right up to the crease on the outer corner and then flipping over my brush. I'm going to place the belly of the brush right across the lid and apply that terracotta shade and blend it across her crease. Because the particles are so fine in the eyeshadow, they'll fill in any lines on the lid. To add a little bit more drama to this evening look, I'm gonna finish off her eyeshadow by adding just a little bit of that terracotta shade right at the root of her bottom lashes. I'm gonna go in with a Jerome Alexander Long Wearing Black Gel Eyeliner and the brush that it comes with. And using the side of my brush, I'm gonna start by just pulling right at the root of her lash. I'm starting in the center of her eye and working towards the outer corner. This gel eyeliner glides on really easy. It's a great way to take any daytime look to an evening look, like we're doing here to create Kathy's evening look. You wanna think about when you're applying eyeliner to go a little bit heavier towards the outer corner and keep it a little bit thinner on the inside. You can really wiggle this brush in right to the root of the lashes to make them appear darker and fuller. And if you can look down in this way for me, I'm gonna go right about three quarters of the way and I'm just gonna stamp my brush to blend it across the eye. I'm gonna go in with a stamping motion, working again towards the outer half of Kathy's eye first. The stamping motion really assists not only in the application of the eyeliner, but also enforces that liner to get really close to the lash line and help the lashes look fuller. Because it's long wearing, this gel eyeliner will last any night out. I'm going to just perfect the outer corner. And I'm just going to finish this off by going about three quarters of the way across the lash line. You don't want to have your eyeliner towards the inner tear duct be too thick. You want it to gradually get a little bit more thick as you get to the outer corners of the eye. I'm going to go in with the Jerome Alexander Extended Lash Black Mascara. 
This mascara is great for daytime because it will definitely define the lashes, but since we're going for an evening look, we're gonna add a couple extra coats to just get a little bit more drama. You can get a really beautiful, dramatic effect with this mascara without any clumping or getting that tarantula lash that nobody wants. This will give you glamorous lashes all night long. I'm gonna start again by just wiggling right at Kathy's roots and pulling my spoolie through the lashes. Since this is an evening look we're going for, don't be afraid. The wand will really do the work for you. It's a nice full spoolie that'll really coat every lash individually. This mascara will help to enhance curl, define lashes, and give all that drama that we want for this evening look. Moving on to Kathy's lips, I'm gonna use the Jerome Alexander High Pigment Lipstick Quad. Starting with the lip brush that it comes with, I'm gonna go into my brick red color. And I'm actually gonna use two different shades on Kathy's lips for her evening look. Using the edge of my brush and the brick red, I'm gonna really define the shape and outline of her lips, almost using this as a lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in and switch the color after I'm done lining it to a brighter, more vibrant red using the cherry red. So we'll get that beautiful, almost ombre, but still natural effect and make Kathy's lips look even fuller by putting something a little bit brighter on the inner lip. So flipping my brush over, now I'm going into cherry red. We're gonna blend this right across the center of her lips. So continuing with my brick red, I'm just gonna finish by defining Kathy's lip, the outer line, and the top of her cupid's bow. Then I'm gonna just fill in the rest of Kathy's lips with that cherry red. So I'm just gonna finish blending this beautiful cherry and rose color. I'm gonna go in with the Jerome Alexander Clear Lip Gloss, which comes free in your bronzing kit. This is just gonna add that little extra shine that we're looking for and really polish off any nighttime look. As you can see, we created a gorgeous nighttime look on Kathy using the full line of Jerome Alexander Cosmetics. You can purchase any of these items online at jeromealexander.com. They're all under $25. And remember, makeup doesn't have to be expensive to work.